Pew pew, that's the sounds at the eSports Gaming Club here as they smash their opponents off the map. And students come to work every Monday and are in Mr. Snyder's room for about two hours and on Tuesdays they compete with others. Coach Snyder explained to us how they compete over the web. Joined a, uh, a system online that allows us to connect with other Indiana schools. Uh, the league that we're joined uh, is called the Indiana Middle School Esports Network. Uh, it's a collective of like 100, 200, somewhere in between that schools uh, all across the state of Indiana that agree to compete with each other online. So we all have online uh, memberships um, and then we connect online using the uh, uh, like private match. Crane, a member of the club, says you should join the club because of how fun and cool it is to compete. Also said why he joined the club. Uh, I really like Smash Bros, and I've played it competitively with friends before, so I figured I'd do this. Sports goes way back to, to 1972, where the first game was Space Invader, where 10,000 people participated in the competition. By 2028, esports industry will rise to $5.7 billion, which each year the increase of rate of the industry will be 7% each year. The gaming club plays Smash Bros, but since the gaming club is increasing, they want to add Fortnite, Minecraft, and other popular games. It has been one of the hottest gaming teams with beating a team from Gary, Indiana, and they are looking to keep the street hot in their next match. It has a regional championship in 2019 and are looking to add another championship this year. Axel. And I'm Eli, signing, signing off from the Clay Classic, Classic News. News.